Hope you've had a great weekend, and thanks for logging on to your Aggieland Carpet One forecast. I'm meteorologist Crystal Plone. We did have a lot of pictures sent into the Weather Center. This one was sent in by Twitter from the Chaos Storm team. You could see a very faint rainbow there because we did have a lot of rain showers across the Brazos Valley today. This one was from the clouds from our sunset, sent in by Tony in College Station. A lot of very beautiful cirrus clouds there in that picture. This is a sunset sent in by Robin Penacek, which is off of Highway 21 West in Fazino Lane. Very pretty picture there as well. And finally, we have another sunset picture sent in by Koi Paul Bailey II. Thanks so much for sending in these pictures. And if you want to feature a weather picture in the newscast, and you can always tweet it at us at KBTX Weather, or you can email us weather at kbtx.com. In terms of actual temperatures, we're seeing mostly 70 degree temperatures right now. It's currently 77 degrees at Easterwood Airport, 77 in Hearn, and 79 degrees over in Caldwell. It is warmer where we haven't seen any rainfall today, which is where we have. 83 degrees over in Cameron. Now in terms of your pinpoint forecast in terms of temperatures for the next two days or so, we sh should see temperatures in the low 70s once you wake up tomorrow morning. It'll feel only about a degree or two warmer than that, so not as humid tomorrow morning. Through the afternoon tomorrow, we'll see temperatures in the mid 90s, so not too terribly bad. We should all stay below 100 degrees for your actual highs tomorrow. And then we do it all over again for your Tuesday, starting off just slightly warmer, and then getting into the mid to upper 90s in some spots. I think pinpoint forecast is overestimating our temperature just a bit. Don't think we'll see 100 degrees for your day Tuesday, but it will be a little bit on the warm side just because we're not expecting a whole lot of rainfall for that day. Now, speaking of rainfall, we did have some isolated showers move through the area during the day today. There were a few moving in earlier this evening, but those are still dying off as they head towards the west. The reason why we've been having a lot of rain showers is the state of Texas is actually sandwiched between two different systems. First, we have our high pressure system, which is off towards the west right now. Then we have a low pressure system in our east, and what it's doing is it's sandwiching the state of Texas together, so that's giving us a very good rain chance through the majority of the week, although it'll also give way for a cold front to move through the state of Texas and get close to the Brazos Valley, but not quite close enough to impact our temperatures. What it will do, though, is give us a bigger rain chance. But in terms of the first 48 hours or so of your week, we'll see partly cloudy skies overnight tonight and into your day tomorrow, with rain chances coming back into the forecast by your lunch hour, and then sticking around through the entire day, or through the entire afternoon and evening, I should say, on Monday. These will be very similar to what we saw during the day today. Heavy rainfall at times, some lightning, maybe some small hail, but we're not expecting things to be severe, just very isolated in nature. Tonight, 76 degrees under partly cloudy skies with high temperatures getting into the mid to upper 90s tomorrow, staying below 100 degrees. And then here's your seven day forecast with about a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain throughout the entire week, with the best chances on Wednesday and on Thursday. Because of the rainfall, it looks like temperatures will stay in the mid 90s for the most part, but then we could even see the low 90s by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday. Would be a good idea to hold on to your umbrella because you will need it throughout the week. But for now, have a good rest of your evening.